Uh, all right, so what we are really excited about, what the Mango team and Sarah Varas in general have been very excited about, is what we have been building towards on the Mango Yellow. In some ways, it is a culmination of three years of work that we've been doing. We have learned everything that we wanted to learn from the green, the red, and now we want to introduce you to the yellow. And one thing is, when I show the boat, it's actually blue in color, because when the product will be launched, it would be yellow and ready and it would be ripe. So, blue right now, red later on. So, here is the mango yellow. Believe me, it's, blue. it's yellow when it's launched. <laughs> it is yellow. It is yellow. This is 65% in size of mango red and 60% in weight of mango red. Once again, 65% the, the size and 60% the weight. And you might think, well, that's easy. You would have removed all the features and you made it into a smaller and a cheaper and a less loaded platform. But wait, we are calling it Super Smart Edge for the IoT for a reason. And we'll go into that during the next few slides. One thing, as is our policy, or as is the way we look at development, we will release alpha boats today to the community of developers here. We will wait for your feedback as we develop this platform. The final availability of this boat is in May 2019. And for the next one year, we will be working through with you guys, modifying it, creating it, and this is an open development even on the hardware side. So let's go deeper. And this is the data I mentioned. All right, so what did we do? We kept the good things of Mango Red. We kept the CF3 socket that gives you 2G, 3G, 4G, GNSS, all the good things that we have given from CFX's side on 3G, on, on uh, CF3. So any application that you wrote on a green or a red would still work on a yellow. We're using a Wi-Fi solution, which is 15 times faster than the way it was on Mango Red. If some of you have used the Mango Red, it gives very low speeds of one megabits per second. This will be 15 megabits per second. But those are just the good things we kept. What did we improve? We added Bluetooth Mesh. I think that's, that will be great. When you combine LP1 with Bluetooth Mesh, you can create local area networks and push the data back to the cloud, either using WAN, so Wi-Fi, or WAN, that is cellular. So we added Bluetooth Mesh. We added Bluetooth 5, of course we have to do that. We added NFC, so when you're deploying your solution in the field, and you want to configure it at the time of installation, we give you that as well. All the software will be there for these devices, or for these technologies when this product will be launched. One more thing will go. And some of you, by the way, how many of you have used a Mango Red before? Just raise your hands. Okay. So, as a developer, what I don't like about cellular is that every time I get a board, I have to stick an antenna on it and start my development. That's, that's kind of yuck. It, it's really not good. What we did was we worked very hard to integrate a, an antenna on board for cellular. So, you get your board, the sim is installed. We just start your development. We wanted to make your life simple. So we've added the cellular antenna. We've also added antenna for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and GPS on board. So basically, nearly all the IoT technology, RF technologies that we think you would need in the next few years, we've put it on this board. But that doesn't make it super smart. What makes it super smart? But well, besides Legado, we need to add a lot more features. So let's go through that one by one. First of all, we believe there is no other open source te hardware technology platform out there that is going to be so sensor rich. We kept the good things of the red. So we kept the Kodak, we kept the, we kept the temperature sensor, the pressure sensor, the battery capability. So all of those were kept exactly as they were. But then we realized that we can make things better. We work with Bosch, and we are adding the latest sensor technologies onto this platform. The, 
the sensor we are using in this platform will be very, very accurate for 9D calculations. So we have an accelerometer, a gyro magnetometer, and it's using the latest and greatest technology from Bosch on that side. We've also changed the, the light sensor. So instead of just being an analog, we're giving you more uh, strength there in lumen calculations as well as ultraviolet ray detection. Added a lot more LEDs. Then we wanted to add more. We add, working again with Bosch, we added the humidity sensor from them, extremely precise. We added an onboard mic. So imagine applications where you just have this board sitting somewhere, you're waiting for some noise, and you can do local processing on the noise. Again, distributed computing here, guys. So you can do that, and then you can make decisions at the edge itself. We added a gas sensor for environmental detection. So we did that as well. We added a buzzer for local noise or whatever you want to do with that. So this platform, when you combine it with the, all the RF technologies and all the sensor capabilities, is very close to what you would need to build most of your IoT solutions. But wait, that's not enough. We wanted to give you more. So we kept our beloved IoT cards. And if some of you have seen on the Mango IO website, we have around 17 cards today. And by the time this platform is launched, we'll have around 25 to 27. So you can add more capabilities to the Mango Yellow. So not just the sensors and the RF capabilities we talked about, you can expand it much more. What really excites me about this platform is what the way we are working on industrialization here. It, it's, it's been a lot of work. The team has worked very hard on it. But let me go to the next stage here. Imagine on the right, my right that is, it's a dumb board. It's a board with no connectivity. It's never seen connectivity. That could be an electric panel sitting outside. That could be any board that you can think of. Right next to it is the mango yellow. All you would do is put an edge card on it, and you can put the mango yellow onto this platform and give it all the connectivity, all the sensors, all the monitoring capabilities that you can think of for this platform. It gets, and the way we've done industrialization, it, it doesn't even increase the height much. So here's a 3D animation of what this would look like. Doesn't increase the height much, doesn't cause much mechanical changes to the platform where it's sitting, and you can build a complete solution uh, with this. We also kept all the good features of Mango Red, so power management, same distribution channel, everything that's been good, we've kept that, but we've added all these new capabilities. Once again, let me repeat, all the RF technologies, sensors, IoT cards, and the way we are doing industrialization of this platform. One thing that is my request to you as the guy leading the global program is to join our community. Come join us. What we want from you is to log into our register on our Mango page or say about the source page, contribute as we contribute back to you. We would like to see your contributions as well so that we can all work together to solve some of the difficulties in the IoT space. Having said that, let's end this on a more positive note and a happy note. Let's give away some things. So, how many people here, let's, let's see some you know, show of hands, how many people would like to get their hands on this uh, mango yellow? If you didn't raise your hands, you're not getting one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that we have that many. <laughs> All right, so let's do something entirely different. So, so there's two things happening today. Uh, if you go to the exhibition area, you can play a roller dice game and the rules are defined there. And I'm sure you've all taken notes, so there'll be some questions that were uh, from the information I gave out this evening to Yeah, there's a still dusty question. Yeah, those are very tricky questions. Um, but for five lucky people here, if you look under your table, there's an envelope there, there's an envelope there. And if you win, if you see an envelope, please go to the front desk and collect uh, the remaining access fees. Thank you. <laughs> And one more thing, this is break time, so please go uh, and enjoy your break and please be back with everyone. Thank you.